I'm in Mufa because I'm the first one of my family uh, to return. Um, uh, we're Armenian. We lived in Ufa for a very long time. My great-great-grandpa was born in Iskenderun, and we traveled back and forth between here and Iskenderun for work. I'm, I'm the first one of my family to return. Uh, I have no hopes to find any tips. I know all of that information is long gone. Mm -hmm. um, I just came to see the neighborhood and the community that my family grew up in mm -hmm. for centuries, um, and to see remnants of Armenian things within the community. It mm -hmm. includes uh, churches within the Armenian district and also the church in Gedmush. It was uh, I was first astonished by the beauty of the neighborhood, um, but I was also uh, troubled that there were there's no remnants of Armenian things left. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's the reality, and I've accepted the reality. I haven't come to reclaim anything, mm -hmm. I, but to accept it as it is. Mm -hmm. um, and when I saw the church in Gedmush, it was a pity. It was in, it's in shambles. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm happy to see that it's at least still there. Um, I'll publish photos, mm -hmm. um, tell my family mm -hmm. how it went. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll go back to Armenia as well after mm -hmm. my trip mm -hmm. to talk to my aunt, her, her grandfather was from Ufa. Mm -hmm. um, they'll be very happy that I came, they were very happy that I was going. But no, uh, that's about it. So far so good. Uh, it's It's been a range of emotions, mm -hmm. both happy, both sad, uh, frustration. Uh, but I'm happy to be here, I'm happy to see the community mm -hmm. is thriving here. Um, um, happy to see that uh, Turks and Kurds are living together over here, mm -hmm. um, and it's just just saddened that there's no Armenian presence anymore. But that is what it is. Mm -hmm.